Um, I would say the biggest motivation should be that when you learn a language, you learn an entire new culture and a new way of life. So um, just, I think, immersing yourself within the culture is the best way to learn a language and studying abroad. I think for Arabic, really the only way is to um, spend time with like native speakers and um, just kind of visit different Arab countries because when you're able to do so you're better you can understand the culture behind the words as well and you're just going to become a lot more passionate about it you're going to fall in love with the culture and the language Salam esuman saras man dars dunya mi khunam va man farsi arabi va inglesi haf mi zanam yeah so i originally studied um french throughout middle school and high school and then when coming to college i really wanted to study a new language specifically a language from the middle east um because i knew that i wanted to work in the middle east in the future just because that's where my cultural interests lie um and then when i saw that arabic was offered here i was really excited and i enrolled um and a lot of it's also because of the fact that i do speak Farsi, I thought that if I was able to learn Arabic as well, then I would be able to communicate with pretty much anyone, I mean not anyone, but a lot of people from the Middle East. So um, I just wanted to be able to understand more cultures from the Middle East and just be more knowledgeable. What I really want to do is I actually want to become an immigration lawyer to help people from the Middle East migrate to the United States. So um, I would love to work for the government in the future and um, uh, work in an embassy basically um, going through different applications for refugees um, and help them come to the United States. That's specifically what I really want to do. Um, I mean, just I think being a child of immigrants, I always have really wanted to help other people immigrate to the United States and better their lives. Um, and then also just while I was studying in Jordan, um, just getting to meet with people who work in the embassy and then also seeing um, the amount of refugees there, I realized that this is something that I'm passionate about and that I want to help make a difference in. So I've spent some time in Iran just with family, so it wasn't educational, but it was just um, family time. <laughs> um, and then I studied abroad in Amman, Jordan this past summer at Qasid Institute. And uh, I really, really loved my time at Qasid because it really helped me um, actually learn not just Fusha, which is formal Arabic, but Amiya, so colloquial Arabic. So I was able to learn the Jordanian dialect a little bit, which was really useful because it allows me to communicate with people from bordering countries as well, like Palestine and Lebanon and Syria and stuff. Um, and I specifically chose Jordan because I loved um, the Jordanian dialect. Also, just being in Jordan really helped um, immerse me in the culture, and I learned a lot of differences between Arab and Persian culture as well while I was there, which was really fun. There's a lot of similarities, but also some cool differences as well. Um, I think I was pretty lucky because I didn't experience too much culture shock while I was there, and I think that could have been because of my prior experiences in the Middle East. Um, but my biggest moment of like just shock in general was how um, my language abilities were not as far as I thought they would be, and that's mostly because of the differences between Fusha and Amiya in Arabic. So I would try and get into a cab and give directions, and the taxi cab driver would look at me as if I was like speaking a made up language and you know throughout my three months there by the end I was able to communicate in EMEA and give directions and I was able to navigate my daily life which was really cool to see the transformation. Probably Morocco. Um, I was supposed to visit Morocco this summer but unfortunately I wasn't able to. I would like to see a different side of the Arabic language because I know the Moroccan dialect is very, very different. So I'd like to become familiar um, with the Moroccan dialect. Um, also in terms of not an Arab speaking or Farsi speaking country but I would love to visit Turkey and I would also love to learn Turkish.